Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, I'm going to take you guys into a Logic Pro's audio effects folder and I'm going to open up a plugin called the Bit Crusher um, to show you guys uh, how to find it, basically how it works, give you guys a little overview on it, show you guys what kind of options the plugin has to offer, uh, and give you my uh, input on it. Uh, basically, we're going to go into audio effects. Remember, guys, if you, if you do have a uh, if you do have Logic Pro, then you're gonna have all these, uh, uh, all of these plugins right here. Usually, when you got other uh, other formats, you're gonna go into Audio Units and it'll, and it'll open up here. But for right now, we're gonna go into Distortion, Bit Crusher. We're gonna open it up. It's gonna look a little something like this. This you open it up on uh, Instruments. It's gonna give you a little distortion effect. You got your drive, how much drive you want, and, and your resolution, and you basically uh, got like a little graph going on over here. It will change when you move some of the faders. And uh, this is basically it. The best way to learn it is to go open up a, a instrument track or something like that. Throw it on, you know, play around with the uh, play around with the mm, faders. See what kind of effect you can get. Hopefully, it will be a, a positive effect. And if you guys can't seem to crack at it later on in a future video, later on in the future videos, I'm gonna show you guys how I use it and get the best optimum results out of it. But that's it. This is the Bit Crusher. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. And please subscribe.